What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to round off up on last time, we were pretty much had the entire episode taken up by the Prussian turn, by the Prussian turn at the end turn phase, and now the, the Prussian force that we have been besieging in Hungary is selling out. So let's fight. And this army will, uh, it will prepare its forces and then it will move towards Prussian territory as well. I have seen enough of one war never to wish to see it. That's something I, th I think that's it's a, it's a rationale that we all need to think of. And bear in mind these days people can very easily turn out the idea of, oh screw it, just bomb them. Nah, nah. It's not always as clear cut as that. If it's ISIS, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we've got to be very careful. Aha! So... Let's do, ooh, nice big area of flat ground. So I don't want to deploy too far back, otherwise you start coming on the underside of the... The ridge line. So let's take my strongest units to form my center. So let's make my line infantry and colonial light with trenches. These guys get cavalry spikes. Then it will be generally the same this side. Um, I've skimped off one unit of infantry because I don't think this unit's going to be as much of a. It's not going to be under threat. I have nothing to. Oh, God. So I've stolen a unit from inside my centre. So let's just, let's just stretch them all out just a little bit to make up the gap. Cool. Put them behind trenches. Deploy my artillery. Firing quick climb. Give each flank a unit of dragoons. Fire will off. Hide them in the trees. Good. And my general is going to sit between the houses. So let's use you guys to blow a hole in the wall. Let's also use you to blow a hole in the wall. And let's triple speed it. Thankfully they are advancing more towards the centre. Well, actually these are advancing towards the centre. These are more pushing the left. Or pushing my right, sorry. Which is probably why I want to move my Continental Dragoons out further on the wing. I figure I may as well put a breach in, in lieu of other acceptable targets. Whereas now... No, you got, they got to keep... they got to keep firing. This way. All of my... Ah, there we go. Now, my long riflemen have got the first volleys off. And this is, these are going to be the first victims of quicklime. Yep, they sure are. So let's pick these guys, hit shrapnel shot and hit that solid block of infantry coming right for us. And you're on a bit of a reverse slope, so hopefully you lob your shells a bit. Militia coming out on the left. So if you guys switch to shrapnel shot, aim at these blocks of militia coming right for us. Trees opened up. Just a long rifleman have with their Kentucky rifles. Let's 
you know gendarmerie. So let's get my hussars into position. Smash straight into these guys then if they want to be smart. Go on, my dragoons. Open up on the uh, militia. Get one good volley off. 213 came. 202. Charge into them. to shot the militia, kind to shot the young citizenry. Chase him down. Didn't lose a single guy out of this Dragoon unit fighting the militia. Hit that Landvern militia because they're pretty strong. Continue to blow a hole in the wall because they don't seem to want to deploy their cavalry. So just be more than happy to target their. God, see this militia is just—they are super keen to hit my to hit my artillery, hit my cavalry. Sorry. their cavalry. There you go. My cavalry is more experienced. Let's just bring my cavalry back to hit this unit of militia that seems determined to seems determined to chase them down. Hit them before they get a charge off, and they'll probably break. Or at least they were winded before. Wavering. Oh, they lo they've lost a handful of guys this time. There you go. Just chop them down a little bit more. There you go. Just to get shattered. So if you shattered means they will not come back. So the fourth continental light dragoons, you move up slowly. I want my artillery to focus on this unit of militia, and I want to group my cavalry together to get into into here, knock out the artillery, knock out the cavalry, and have a successful win. And let's get all my all my artillery to hit this union militia with shrapnel shot. Another volley. Poor devils. Go get him, dragoons. That's their general down. 
then let's triple speed it. Because everyone's... Yeah, the general, the general unit's wavering. Oh, shaking. It's nice of them to commit their artillery into the melee, though. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh-oh. We can't go out that way. Okay, what I'm going to do is take this unit, peel them off sideways, and charge them into the artillery on the flank. Then charge into the cavalry in the rear. Oh, they're surrounded. So they've been doing quite a good job against my dragoons, actually. So it's tempting to see if I can get away with this. Can I run them out? Turn off fire well and just let them shoot into the back of the uh, Prussian cavalry. <laughs> Sweet. So that's the thing to bear in mind, you can fire into combat line of sight from your troops. And remember, cavalry are huge, they'll probably get hit. Oh look at that, 2,266 lost 149. You're on the ropes, Prussia. You are on the ropes, you need to pull off a miracle. I'm on the wrong side of the river to block off that area. <laughs> no. <laughs> Auto resolve. Ooh, did good damage. Seven hundred men. Infamy. Eh, that was the arm. That was the army I was fighting with when I got absolutely spanked. Okay. So here are. Oh god, the Marathons of. Okay. So what are my forces like in Morocco? I have an army in I have armies and forces in Spain. I could very quickly ship south. So that's not the concern. It'd probably be a good idea for me just to have more first rate ships sat in or just blockading and barricading the Indian coast off. Might be a good idea. The Marathas are definitely desperately trying to get a bunch of footholds, but Morocco has a good... Uh, okay. Good. So France has joined me. Savoy's... Yeah, it's fair enough that Savoy's joined, declared war on me. Um, but their main ally, Prussia, is just getting squashed. So all they've done is provide an opening for me to, uh, to push into Italy. Take Turin. Ooh. Okay. Hopefully they're going to do an amphibious invasion of Sweden and not me. Which I think that's what they've done. But I don't know if they've won. Well, they haven't won. Because if they had, um, then Sweden would be a Russian territory. Hmm. Are you going to try to go for Baghdad, or are you just going to raid? I'm I'm fine with them raiding, to be honest. <laughs> if it's something they want to do, then fair enough. Oh, God alive, why would you get that close? Blah. Because, okay, then I'll just do that again. Oh, right next to a... Okay, then I'll do it again. I mean, it's lost a lot of, lost a lot of troops over it, but there's nothing I can't recruit. Oh, the Persians are rebelling against themselves. Maybe we can instill a new king. A friendly king. A just king. Oh, the Spanish are at war with me. The swines. Although that just means that um, I can kick into gear, dismantling their um, European holdings, and also start to take their islands. Oh no, I forgot. The Prussians have got the uh, that one island in the med, don't they? So, army destroyed. Fair enough. Fine. Upgrade the farm. Army destroyed. Another one down in this corner. That's fair enough. 
Savoy's declared on me. Spain's declared on me. So let's take this navy. Recruiter and admiral. That is dry land. Clear decks for battle. Aye, sir. Right, let's Let's cut them off. So what navy do they have here? Third and a second. America expects ready. Aye, sir. This is what happens when you fight the American Navy. We just blockade everything. Okay, so they're all down here. So let's take my fifth ray here, out of here, and let's just drop them off at say oh no italy has spain ah there you go Syracusa, which is currently earning two thousand dollars it's now going to earn them none Aye, sir. lots of traits gained enemy raid at magdeburg so the garrison at hanover needs replenishment and needs a unit of infantry to pick themselves up to full space raid at cut so up here, you need replenishment, fall back towards here, cancel building here, and you need infantry, so I'll take a long time for that infantry to get here, so it needs to be African native. Sir. African native infantry. At the red. Can I recruit Baghdad? Can I recruit conventional line infantry? No, I cannot. So, so this army yes. too is going to end up being full of native African infantry because everything else is just too far away. I need to beef up these regions because are you recruiting anything? No, you can't recruit native African infantry. It's all coming from Egypt and probably then even further away. Can I recruit native African infantry out of this? Well, just because it's not Africa, it's technically now the Middle East. Don't know. But I'm all with Spain and we've successfully blockaded off their the rest of their territory. means the interesting times could be coming from Bavaria so I think you will probably end up heading south so you're gonna need some artillery don't really like mortars usually but can't be helped so I'll do this to make they make Vienna effectively have a have a new army in it Peter Payne is going to just assault Victory. Hungary. Hungary is ours. And I, I assume they have a university because... Do you have a university? Because you don't like me either. Ah, there's your university. Smash. Then you'll be super fond of me. Port blockaded. Providence. Do I have an actual navy here? Well, I started building one here. Sorry. Let's take Cornelius Brown. No. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's equip him into the onto the ships. Let's take this sloop and sail it on to New Mexico, and then send this army. Up to take Guatemala and upgrade that pleasure house. But let's see if this ship, if they can land, if they can just run straight to New Mexico. So there's a fleet. Yep, straight on in. Ooh, almost. But I like their odds. Lots of artillery. Case of kilns, get a ceramics factory. 
state capital. Grand Opera House, that's as far as you can get. Church school. Yeah, start converting. Craft workshops. Celebi has got a new region. Greatest states been upgraded. It's been upgraded. Got an engineer school. Raid in a farmland. Trade agreement cancelled with Savoy. Workers on strike in Austria. Don't worry, the recruitment drive will help with two. Oh, that's all brand new as well. Let's get a little seconds, and then let's get some. Fill the rest of the production crew with, th with thirds. Sweet. So, yeah, sorry, Spain. You know, messed up. Okay, so they're now. Pushing on to Gibraltar. Yes. Oh no, sorry, I wanted to go on to Portugal, didn't I? So let's take troops out of Gibraltar, run them to Tangier. These guys can't make it just. So it'll probably be quicker. Make ready. Well, these guys for sure will be quicker to run to a port. You can't get to Porto, unfortunately. Let's get the Navy and a Jeremy Whitefield. Embark the troops. Sail them down here and drop them off. Off the coast. In they go. Let's get some recruiting on the go. But to be honest, it's not that great. So I might be better off recruiting in Jib. Who else can I pick up? Ooh. So this no and this army here is not really I can't sir, remember what I was gonna use it for. Your humble servant. Yes, sir. Your humble sir. So let's take a unit of blunder buses out. Forward. Let's put Forward. two guns in. Forward. Let's deploy them. Embark them. Well, to be honest, if, they, if a new front's opened up with Spain and Savoy, that's where these chaps will be going. So, sail down here. Sail these guys out. Attack their fleet, or blockade their fleet. We have been intercepted. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot more ships than I thought. Who is it? Oh, it's the Genoans that have intercepted. No, let's peel off a bit, actually. The main thing I wanted was to get my ships out of... Bloody hell, they really didn't... <laughs> That's how scared they were. They went all the way out. Um, but the main thing is I wanted this guy out. So I can deploy this army in. So effectively take all of these guys, sit them outside. Get this new army, run them in. And then effectively go, don't need... I don't need. I don't want cavalry. Ready and awaiting orders. So I'll take an extra unit of marines. For crown and country. Actually, I don't want. I'll probably rather have sharpshooters than blunderbuss guys. Crown so. And so let's also bring in another guards engineer unit. Oh, can they not? Oh, he's got space. Forward. Probably don't want. Forward. Yes. I think I'll take a line infantry guards. Good. It's a pretty goddamn solid list. So what are their fleets? Tiny, 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 tiny. Proper fleet. So I might want to actually group some ships together. So let's bring another admiral second, second, first. Ships orders. How many can you fit in? Two more, I think. Third and fourth. Any orders? Good, looks like a pretty good fleet. Let's run you into the separate fleet and make you keep pirating. 
Let's group you together and send you south. There you go, slowly turning Spain Protestant. Let's run you south as well. See metal roads, look how far you can go. Okay, so now the time will be to start to push out to support this attack there are currently no here. Stationed at this fort. I've got a feeling they're going to, someone's going to attack me. So if I can stack two of my armies together, that gives me some decent support. Let's put this guy down here. Let's act as a bit of a blocker. Let's bring this guy down here so he can't move west. Let's move this army up here against this bridge. So if he tries to raid this guy, which I think he wants to do, then he can, you know, trigger an attack and try a storm across the river. It does mean to reinforce, re uh, reorientate some of these guys down to the south because we've got a couple of pressure stacks and we've got the Savoyans. Then I forgot about these, so this is going to be a bit of a take a bit of a slog to get through. Well, I don't know. One big battle can be all it needs to push them all out of the city. And you also need to look at storming the Italian front as well. Ready for order. To be honest, this might be what you end up doing. So within Serbia itself, just just keep you know ticking away with militia and effectively rely on these guys storming up to actually taking and relieving the pressure. You're still recruiting. Let's get some Pandors. See, so you're yeah, you're replenishing, you're replenishing, you're replenishing. You. To be honest, let's take. No, let's get you a bit of bit of support before we do anything silly. Doesn't have to be much. Six pounders would be okay. Ooh, but a bit of how it would be good with a unit of cross. Yes, and a general to create a small stack. Start to hoover up the likes of this. Yes. There's no room for them there. Okay. So you're going to fortify here. You're going to try and intercept this stack when they move up. You're going to try and intercept them. You're going to fill up the gaps. Eventually, my Prussian, my French garrison is going to come out as well. Well, to be honest, they can. It's become less of a threat. So I think I might just go straight out and plonk this guy on the bridge there are currently no to intercept if the Savoyans At decide to time. move into this area. So they've got scope to send out a fleet to to land and take one of my regions, which is okay. But we'll soon find out which. Trade route raided. That's my trade route. Cool. But let's... Bring them on. Try and attack Tangiers. They've got settlement fortifications. Foot artillery. Foot artillery. A mortar crew. Got a lot of troops though. Whoosh. But that's why I've got... That's why it's good to have a stack of yes, just sorry. infantry outside. In turn. You can't do anything. anything more? So... See what the French do in support of me for once. Oh, I forgot about that. I thought those stacks would. Okay. I got. For a minute, I was like, uh oh, that's a big army. Wait a minute, that's me. We are mighty and unbound. <laughs> they really want Hanover. Opportunity to intercept. I do not want to take it. Because I would like an opportunity to replenish. And by the looks of it, they're going to go try attack Austria. But I can't remember if Austria is... If I'm recruiting an army in Austria, which I think I am. So it should be okay. Yep, I've pushed them back around the river. At some point I'm just going to have to engage them. But today, that is not this day. Oh, they've tried to run... Th they've ran through...
Go on, bro. That's what you're going to do, eh? They're going to chase down my army? They're going to do a bit of raiding before they try and attack me. How quaint. The Ottomans are going to be the Ottomans. Hmm. Oh, Poland. Question is, will the Swedes join them? They will not. So the Poles are coming in now. But that's the Prussians. So the, the Poles are at war with me and the Prussians and probably the Russians as well? Huh. Okay, so... Okay. okay. So are they just going to land that army? Where are they going to land it? If they're going to land it, that is. They might choose not to. Those are a lot of priests. <laughs> they really wanted to convert Finland. Holding nothing back at all. You will believe what we tell you to believe. Get used to it. Hmm. God, the Persian. This is just the Persian war. Just an irritant. It's just on the. Ooh, rebels. Yeah, they're knackered, so they can't do anything more than fall back towards uh, Tehran. Ooh, do I want to trigger an attack? Oh, I very much think I do. But, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time.